Hello everyone. Today I want to explain the different object parenting modes that Blender has to offer. For years I've been ignoring some of these options and I've only come to learn what they do recently, but they seem really useful and I'm going to integrate them as my workflow in the future and I hope you can do something similar too. Let's start with the very basics, how to parent one object to another. You first click on the object you want to become a child, then shift click on the new parent, control P and click on object. Now what this does is the parent object's transform is going to affect the child. So I'm going to rotate the icosphere. It's going to rotate the child with it. I'm going to scale it or move it. It's going to do the same to the child. So I'm going to send a second option. I need to scale down the parent here. The second option is more or less only important if you want to reparent one child to a new object. So I'm going to I'm going to select this child. I'm going to select this new object. Control P and keep transform. So it's going to take over all the changes that the former parent did to the child. If I were to parent it regularly, you see it's going back to its original transform. If you want to unparent an object but keep its transform, you can press Alt P, clear and keep transformation. This way it won't have any parent, but it will remain with the transform it had before. To understand this next option, parent object without inverse, we need to know what the inverse does. When we usually parent, you can see that the child object remains in its world position. And that is because of the inverse matrix. If we were to take that away, notice that it's going to move to the parent's origin point. So that is what parent without inverse does. What this next option does, keep transform without inverse. I'm not 100% sure because I don't see any noticeable difference to keep transform. As you can see here, nothing really changes and they seem to be just parented. It's supposedly going to do the former two options combined. Now to demonstrate the next two options, I have prepared a little example here. I have this little chemistry glass and this belt here. And if I just simply control P, select the vertex option, you can see the relationship line here that the origin of the object has to this vertex here. This is being affected by the certify, but it's basically parent to this vertex here. And if I move this vertex, you can see the whole glass is also moving with it. And last but not least, parenting with vertex, but triangle. For this one, I'm going to turn off the solidify and I'm going to triangulate this face here. It works exactly the same with a quad, only it's virtually using a triangle because every quad is to some extent being triangulated here you can see it here so i'm just going to triangulate it to get a better view on this and you can see that it is using this triangle here if i rotate this triangle it's going to rotate the glass with it but it only really affects the rotation and location not the scale so even if i scale this face here it's not scaling this is really, really useful if you want to add any kind of detail to it. Both the vertex and the vertex triangle option are really useful in this sort of example. If I want to make changes to the spell, like I'm going to move it in a little bit or I'm going to rotate this. I mean, like this just remains the same way and you don't have to readjust it. You don't have to reposition it or anything. This option has existed for a very long time. I could go as far back as Blender version 2.8 in the documentation. I just never used it and completely ignored it. But I'm definitely going to use it in the future now that I know about it. And I hope you can find it useful too. There's one more way to do your vertex parenting. If you first select the child object, then the parent that you want to make. Go into edit mode on the parent and just select one vertex, control P, make a vertex parent. Notice that the relationship line goes directly to the vertex. And yes, in fact, now the child object is moving to that one vertex. If you're selecting three vertices and do vertex parent, then you'll see that the line goes to that whole face and it is now moved by the whole face. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye!